It's probably best to refer to these systems as ionization and inlet systems rather than interfaces. The description, the descriptive term ionization and inlet systems tells exactly what we expect these devices to do, and that is to allow materials coming from a chromatographic system to be inletted into the mass spectrometer and to form ions of the selected analytes, put those ions in the gas phase and make them available for analysis by the mass spectrometer. There are some fairly critical requirements on ionization and inlet systems, the first of which is that we do not degrade the chromatographic resolution. We are going to work pretty hard to put together a chromatographic separation in an HPLC or GC column, and we don't want that uh, separation to be degraded in any way to lose that component separation as we go into the mass spectrometer. The second requirement is that we want to have all or at least a significant portion of the ions that we form pass into the mass spectrometer. LCMS interfaces are not particularly good at this. The uh, interface is quite good at producing ions of the analyte material. In fact, close to 100% of the analyte material is ionized, but only a very small percentage of that is actually sampled and taken into the mass spectrometer. Nevertheless, we know LCMS interfaces have very high sensitivity and are uh, capable of producing good limits of detection. The third requirement is that the ionization and inlet systems do not create a high enough pressure to prevent the mass spectrometer from efficiently separating ions. What that means in simpler terms is we simply cannot allow all of that vapor which is uh, being produced by the HPLC mobile phase to pass into the mass spectrometer because we would no longer have a vacuum in the mass spec and therefore we'd no longer have a mass spec. We'd no longer be able to do mass analysis on the uh, injected ions. So there's a critical requirement on the vacuum system to pump all of that vapor out. And how much vapor are we talking about? For one milliliter per minute flowing acetonitrile, we're talking about a half a liter per minute of vapor of acetonitrile at standard temperature and pressure. Of course, an LCMS interface is not operating at STP, it's operating at reduced pressure and at higher temperatures. And therefore, the, uh, we're talking about literally, in some cases, liters of vapor produced by the HPLC mobile phase, all of which has to be removed by the vacuum system. So there's quite a serious requirement on the, on the uh, part of the vacuum system. But it's worse than that because at the same time, we need to preserve uh, a very small amount of a substance called the analyte and that may be as little as milligrams or nanograms or even femtograms in some cases. We want to